as a excuse What's up everyone? This is Scream Man 21 or I Fell at Games and I have a tough time pronouncing the word Wednesday and spelling it. Mostly spelling it. But it's Tuesday, so that's irrelevant. And I'm playing a game called Depressed Spider Man. Look at this. No, I'm kidding, it's called Double Wires, but it looks like Depressed Spider Man. Look at this. No, I hate my life. Avengers is such a great movie. Why can't my movie live up to Avengers? I'm gonna end it all. Fuck it. Oh. Look at him. He's doing a mumble. Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys. Um, first comment from the last video was Pax Per Mortem, and I love Pax Per Mortem, man. He's awesome. He makes videos. Also, I'm gonna put a link on the video for you can go to his videos and subscribe. But I'm gonna put it at the end of the video for you can watch my video because I'm selfish. <laughs> right, Larry? Forget you, Larry. I swear having a pet donkey is hard sometimes. All right, guys. This video is about groups and why groups are kind of ineffective in a lot of situations. And why if you limit yourself to a group, you can sort of lose because there's a lot you can learn from other people. That's pretty much the whole video. But I'm going to go into it in a little more detail. All right. Hitler said this. If I'm not wrong, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me, somebody. Who cares? Hitler said this. It's a notion that he had, a logic. If you separate people into groups, it's easier to control them. I want you to think about that shit just for a moment. Do, 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 do. All right, moment up. Think about it. If you limit people to groups, it's easier to control them. It's a, it has always been a big thing with people in schools and, you know, whatever... Well, in my school, I went to a public school. By me being half leprechaun, half minotaur, I was different by default. I mean, it wasn't my fault. And, of course, I was put into a group at an early age. I was put into a group in a really early age. But why? Nobody really knew who I was as a person. People just know maybe my outside features or how I acted. And, I mean, I think I ended up being a pretty cool person and that's the thing about it i think with that's a big thing with the whole gay marriage thing and it's maybe people that are older than us that are arguing gay marriage but it's still the same thing it's people afraid to learn new things from groups i mean who cares if two people that love each other want to get married that's a whole nother subject but the point that i want to make really quickly because i want this video to be pretty short is do not ever limit yourself to groups. You know why? Because if you limit yourself to groups, you limit yourself. Period. It's so much you can learn from other people. It's so many awesome people that's not you. It's so many awesome people that's, that may be gay. It's so many awesome people that may be a donkey. Like in my case, I found an awesome best friend in a donkey. But anyway, uh... <laughs> It's so much that a quote-unquote nerd can learn from a cool kid. It's so much that a quote-unquote cheerleader can learn from a, a gothic chick or whatever. It's so much that a gay person can learn from a straight person. We let fear control us in a lot of situations, guys. And when it comes to things like that, it makes no sense. Why would you, why would you risk the chance of learning something new? I mean, I love knowledge. That's personally why I do these videos, because I want to share my knowledge with you guys or what I think is knowledge with you guys. And I want your opinions. I like to hear what people think. I love to hear what people think. That's how I learn. That's how I adapt. That's how I get better. That's how I learned about commentating. And that's how I became a commentator. I mean, why would you limit yourself to a certain group just because it's the norm or it's the normal thing to do or you're afraid to branch out and learn and meet new people there's nothing wrong with learning and meeting new people it's one of the more beautiful things in life there are all kinds of great people in every type of group ethnicity fuck i can't say that word Ugh. ethnicity and race and that's the same thing sexual orientation whatever is so many great people in all those shits you just have to learn you just have to 
not be afraid to talk to those kind of people. Don't alienate people, even if they're actual alien, which that's pretty possible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You seen men in black. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's pretty much my knowledge for you guys today. Um, don't limit yourself because there's so much that you can learn. Now, side note, some people are jerks. And some people are idiots. There's no way of getting around this. Some people don't deserve to to have your company. Some people don't deserve to talk to you. Ignore those people. I'm talking about it's great people with great mindsets in every type of group that you can think of. And if you and if you don't spend time to try to learn about these people at least and see where they're coming from and see their views on life. And not live your life through a TV screen and listen to what other people tell you. You have to go out and learn things on your own, people. And that's the beauty, that's one of the beautiful things of life. I think if more people in America actually band together and really became united, we can get a lot of things done. Look at the Occupy movement on Wall Street. Those are different people from different areas banding together for a great cause. We can do that in America. We could become America is about the people. We, if we could band together and stop judging each other based on our background or who we are, we can get a lot done in America. We could take back America and it can be home of the free again, truly. It could be the independent, a really free country. But we're not free if we're limiting ourselves because we're putting ourselves in a cage. That's pretty much it, guys. Um. Larry, is there anything that you want to add on this video? No? You know what? Sometimes, Larry, I, I wonder about you, Larry. Some, uh, 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 uh. What about you, depressed Spider-Man? No, nah, man, you know, I just think we should fight the power, fight the system, you know, because... <laughs> fuck it up! Uh, uh. All right, it's obvious that the press Spider-Man has some issues, but I'm going to talk to him and try to work them out. So it's going to wrap up this video, guys. Um, like the video if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and you want to hear more from this, this kid who is half leprechaun, half minotaur. What the f***? And whoever's the first commenter, get a shout-out from me. And I promise one day you guys are going to love my shout-outs. <laughs> All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video. Peace out. Mwah. <laughs> Random.